briefly say that uh, the idea came from uh, the, in 2003 from the then director of the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C., uh, who suggested the idea. I wasn't at that meeting. Uh, uh, the executive director of Heart Disease Foundation was there. He came back to New York and he mentioned it to me, and I said, I thought that was a great idea. Uh, that I didn't think of it, but uh, let's execute it. Let's form uh, a nonprofit organization uh, that would be tax exempt and, uh, and be a sponsoring organization and put together the, uh, the doctors, the scientists, the people who have Parkinson's, uh, the person, the physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, uh, family members, care provider, anybody interested in Parkinson's should come together. Uh, and that was um, planning on it. And in 2004, we got the tax exempt organization going. Uh, we picked a uh, or trustees for the uh, this foundation, and then we uh, initiated the, the committees to proceed. And we hired Elizabeth Pollard. You learned about that today too. To go to the opening ceremony, and uh, has been our executive director ever since. And uh, we run this uh, this meeting. Uh, the first one was in 2006. Uh, we, it was a short time between 2004 when we got the, uh, the tax exempt organization approved uh, until February 2006. It was Washington, the President's weekend uh, holiday in the United States. Washington, D.C., uh, nothing was going on in Congress. Uh, the hotel rooms were sort of empty, and uh, the convention center in Washington was available. We grabbed it. Uh, we got a discount rate. We were able to meet our financial needs. and. Uh, we had over 3,000 people come. Uh, about a third were uh, people with Parkinson's, or uh, others lay people uh, without Parkinson's. The others were scientists or clinicians.